Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sarah from Europe Boxes. I am very, very, very excited about today's review. I'm a little late with this one. This is a holiday slash Christmas themed box, but I did mention in a previous unboxing that I have a few of these to catch up on. Some of my holiday boxes arrived just before Christmas and we took time off. You guys all know that I was moving and I still want to share these ones with you guys because some of them are so good, this one in particular. <laughs> so today we are having a peek at the limited edition Christmas box from Sweet Reads Box. You all know that I am a huge, huge fan of this subscription in general. They have a regular monthly subscription and then they also have these amazing limited edition boxes that they release throughout the year. They always sell out so fast. I think they have a few of them available on their website right now. I don't know which one's off the top of my head, but go and check it out. I'll put a link down below to their profile page that has all the details you need to know. But basically the regular box is $85 per month. They are a Canadian company, only shipping to Canada right now. And then their limited edition boxes are usually about $100. And I do have a coupon code, which I'll link down below as well. I think if I remember correctly, it's for 10% off your first box. So just make sure you check out those links if you want to know more. Okay, so this is the limited edition Christmas box. So good, you guys. This is my favorite Sweet Reads box for the entire year. They did such a good job. And luckily, I received it right before Christmas um, because I actually ended up starting the book I think a couple days before Christmas and then it was the book that I read over the holidays okay so I am going to just take everything out of the box since this is kind of getting in the way and then we'll go through all of the items okay here we have a big old mess of goodies <laughs> It's making me so happy. Even though Christmas is over, this is still putting a smile on my face. Okay, let's get organized. First up, we have our product card. This tells us uh, the book that we received, a little bit about it, and then it lists all of the items that we've received in the box, a little bit about those as well. And it also tells us if they are from a Canadian company. Now, here's how it works with the products. In their regular monthly box, the products usually tie into the book somehow. For their limited edition boxes, the products tie into the overall theme. So um, they won't necessarily tie into the book, but they, well, uh, some of them do actually, um, but they will tie into the Christmas theme. So I'm going to set that to the side. And then we also have this, which I think is really fun. Something that they started doing, I'm not sure when. Um, this is a letter from the authors. So I didn't know that Maggie Knox, I think it tells us here, the pen name Maggie Knox is actually Karma Brown and Marissa Stapley. So it's actually two authors. So here we have a letter from them. I'm going to set that over here. Now the book for the Christmas box is The Holiday Swap. And you guys, this is such a good book. I, oh, there we go. I am that far through and I typically only read thrillers. So the fact that I'm loving this one so much says a lot and it was or is the perfect holiday read. I can't wait to finish it. I had to stop reading it because I sent the box to our photographer. Um, she had the box for a few days <laughs> and you can kind of see it's a little bit beat up because I've spent many mornings over the holidays reading it. And if you like Hallmark Christmas movies, you will like this. And it's actually 10 times better than a Hallmark Christmas movie. I find those can be a little bit cheesy sometimes, um, but this one isn't. I love, love, love it. So basically twin sisters and one of them lives in their hometown. One of them lives, I think in California somewhere, I think, I can't remember. Um, and anyways, they're both bakers the one that lives in their hometown, runs their family bakery. And anyways, they end up switching places and, you know, making connections, going on dates. Anyways, I love it. <laughs> there you have it. Okay, then we usually always get a treat. So here we have Comfort and Joy Chocolate Covered Jujubes. I don't know if you guys have had these before. Some people think they sound kind of funny, but they're so good. And I haven't had them for so long. And this is the perfect treat for a holiday box. Then we have this Swedish dish, dish cloth. I almost didn't get that out. And look, it matches this perfectly. So here we have a spatula. I love that they're both festive. I might actually tuck these away for next year and then they'll just be 
just as much fun when I pull them out of my Christmas box next year. So that's what I might do with those. Then we also have these bowl covers and so stinking cute. And I love that we actually like have little tiny ones because I have tiny little bowls um, that I use for Steven and that's what I'll use these four. Might also tuck these away for next year, maybe. Then we have this mug warmer. So stinking cute. I love handmade products like this. I was a little sad. I tried to go on to um, this company's website to find out a little bit more about these, but they didn't have them on there. Then we also have this beautiful ornament and this is perfect because I try, since baby Steven was in my tummy, <laughs> I'm trying to get a new ornament every year for our tree just to make it a little bit more fun. Um, and I didn't have a chance to get one this year and I was actually quite sad about it. So this is going to be my ornament for this year. And what I might do on one of the sides is take a like a thin tip sharpie and just write a little note on it um like this was the year we moved into our new house mommy didn't have time to get an ornament or something along those lines that's what i'm gonna use that for and then we have this so fun in addition to always getting a snack we always get a beverage so our beverage for the christmas box and that's why they shipped it in this big brown mailing box rather than their logoed box because this was too big for their regular box hot chocolate bomb diy kit now let me just see if i can get into this and show you guys okay so tucked in here we have the molds we have the chocolate we have crushed candy cane, we have mini marshmallows, and then we have obviously like the cocoa mix here. I haven't yet tried a hot chocolate bomb, I've been wanting to, and I think it's just going to be even more fun that I get to make it myself, so such a great idea. Love everything about this box. This, Like I said, this is my favorite one for the year of 2021, my favorite sweet reads box. We've got our book, our spatula, our dishcloth, jube jubes, mug warmer, ornament, bowl covers, and then our hot chocolate bomb DIY kit. Love it. Um, I hope you guys didn't miss out on this one. If you did, make sure you keep this one on your radar for next year. And as per usual, make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you think. And thank you so much for watching.